Hello, I've been trying to do this video for a couple weeks and uh, I've been trying to figure out how to use this thing and uh, that's not easy. The only instructions that you can download are taken from about four feet away and just barely shows you how to load in the software onto your phone and that's about it. And there's all kind of functions here that uh, you know you have to learn and if you're a maestro with your fingers this will be much easier for you. Uh, for me, uh, it's hasn't been that easy but uh, you know one of the problems is uh, this thing would run so long and then it would the communications would stop uh, for a week I wasn't even able to get this thing to turn on and then I found out that I had to uh, uh, power down my phone completely and restart it because something in the software would lock up uh, and uh, there's things about it that aren't really great. But, you know, uh, the scale goes from 0 to 60 amps, and it's supposed to be a 100 amp meter. Uh, you can do a double tap on this, and it'll go to about two-thirds of the scale. And then uh, when you change this scale, it also changes this one. So, you know, you got 300, you got, you know, a lot of voltage here, a lot of current here. And if you're at the opposite sides, Things don't work out too well. The blue is the current. The little green you see right here is the voltage. And this is the power. Power doesn't really have any scale. I've never run this thing long enough to see if it like readjusts. But, uh, you know, you, you can't really get too much of uh, useful information out of it. Huh, nothing just stopped again. Okay, here we go. Uh, so... This is what it looks like. Uh, you can use the two fingers here to uh, expand out any portion of the scale. And uh, you can use uh, you know, the vertical fingers to uh, uh, look in at any one section. Uh, it starts out with being a, 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 a three-digit you know, number on the sides. And when you expand it, it turns into eight digits, which just takes up a lot of space. I mean, it's a 1% meter, you know. <laughs> you can't have seven decimal places. So it's a, you know, I don't know why they do these things. But this is obviously one of those contracts where, you know, what can you do for 100 bucks? We don't want to spend more than that. Uh, this same software is used for several different products. Uh, I guess this thing is a DT3010. Uh, and uh, there'll be a little, if you have more of these, there's a uh, three-letter three extension that uh, will identify each one. Up here is a Bluetooth symbol. You can tap onto that and uh, select what meter you're looking at. Anything that's gray boxed is uh, not used. So this is a, the DC meter. There's an AC one. There's an, one that works just on USB. So let's see what else we got. So there's some odd things like what kind of time is it? So uh, right down here we're looking at 002 semicolon 159 semicolon 12. Well this is seconds. This changes by minutes. But uh, you know maybe this is metric. Metric minutes or something. <laughs> so a little while ago this was one and now it's two. I don't know what it's doing, but, you know, it's weird. Uh, it will, you know, take the temperature of the cabinet this thing is in. And you can uh, set the dollar, the dollar amount of, uh, or whatever currency you're using uh, for each kilowatt hour. It'll read out total kilowatt hours. Uh, the, the colors don't necessarily match. Uh Yellow up here is power, and yellow down here is voltage. So, yeah, feel free to be confused. Uh, you do to get the total amp power and total wattage. You even get carbon dioxide. But uh, there are a lot of strange things about this. Uh, there's a setup button down here, and I have not been able to figure out what that does. Uh, every once in a while, Chinese characters will pop up. 
that seems to be associated with it start, starting to pick up Bluetooth. But even when the thing's not even turned on, even when you remove it from the background, it's still there. So if you're a paranoid person, uh, you know, this meter will do it to you. The other strange thing is, is it won't run unless you enable location. So they're spying on you. <laughs> Uh, you know, the software, like I say, will lock up, uh, if there's a microwave or anything like that, uh, you'll lose communications, and anything that you've gathered so far will just disappear. Uh, if you, uh, turn on the microwave, it'll, it'll reset it. Uh, the data... It, it, the meter doesn't collect any data. It, it will store, store total values, but the uh, the data that you see on the chart is just stored on the phone. So, yeah, you have to keep the phone by it all day if you want to keep uh, any records and see what happens. And you can't uh, transport it off to anything that I can see. There might be, you know, other features to this, but, you know, no one tells you what they are if... Uh, you figure some new things out. I'd uh, like to hear it. Uh, the phone, when it gets locked up sometimes, I mean, I, you know, for a week I was trying to get this thing to work, and finally I said to myself, because I, I could see it coming up on Bluetooth, you know, would see, you know, the, <laughs> the software of this would even see the uh, Bluetooth of my TV. So, you know, there was communications, but I had to totally power the phone down and restart it in order to uh, get it to work again. Uh, the other thing is the, the meter is located in my water heater downstairs. And, you know, it's nice to be up here and, and just read it without having to go down. But sometimes I couldn't get any data. You know, it would show that it picked it up. And I'd go down there and the meter midday would be reading zero amps zero volts and I'd have to remove power from the meter not just press the reset button but remove power from the meter and reconnect it in order to get it to start reading again so uh, if you're powering this from a solar panel uh, you may have uh, days where it's not storing any data at all uh, something to be aware of I don't know. Well, that's about it. You know, it's it's cute. It's fun. It's a little bit of a joke. And uh, I've had lots of problems just using it in a, in a daily way. You know, anytime I really want to take data and look at something, somehow something screws up on it. So there'll be a certain frustration level with it. And uh, just be aware of that. But this was less than $15 for the meter and the software, so it's kind of a good deal. If you have an old phone, smartphone with Bluetooth, you know, this is a use for it. You know, <laughs> leave that down, down by your equipment and you can record the data all day. And, you know, it's, it's a good educational thing, but uh, you will be frustrated. And with a little more effort... Put into this it could have been really something that was quite good so thanks for watching and uh, I'll report more